Hi guys, I don't know about you, but I don't do a lot of baking. I do bake brownies and I happened to be at Walmart yesterday looking at all the different brownie mixes. I was really surprised. I, I hadn't noticed before just how many brownie mixes there are. And then I looked at the shelf above the brownies and I happened to notice that Dolly Parton also has a line of baked goods, including brownies, but her brownies were pretty expensive. But I did happen to notice she also has this line of cake mixes. There was apparently she has a coconut cake mix, which I probably would have bought, but they were completely out. So that must be the most popular flavor, I guess. But she also had this Southern style banana flavored cake mix. So I thought this might be kind of fun to bake and try and share with you. So today I'm going to try Dolly Parton's Southern style banana flavored cake. Since I'm probably going to be the only one eating this, Jim loves bananas but he really hates anything with bananas in them. Since he's probably not gonna be eating much of this banana cake, I thought, you know, it might be a little bit easier to make banana cupcakes. I even found, Jim and I went to the dollar store the other day, the Dollar Tree, and I even found these little uh, cupcake baking cups. There's actually 90 in here, and this was $1.25, so that's a pretty good deal. In addition to Dolly's cake mixes, she also had frosting mixes but they were pretty expensive. Almost $2, I think, for a little container like this. I think this is 16 ounce. I think hers were probably 16 ounces. And I really like cream cheese. I like the taste of cream cheese. So I thought I would just get this cream cheese frosting, which I think was $1.53. So a pretty good deal, really, for $1.53 for this. It's almost impossible to find a bargain, any kind of deal, when it comes to shopping at the grocery store. So $1.38 and $1.53 for a cake, that's still a pretty good bargain. Now the most expensive ingredient is probably the eggs. Right now you can buy eggs at Walmart. This is March of 2023 for about $5.50. That's for 12 large eggs. Now I just bought six eggs. Now this smaller carton here of just six eggs was $3.67, I believe. So that's about 61 cents per egg. Where if I'd gotten the full larger, you know, 12 pack, it would have been about 46 cents per egg. So a better deal if you get the larger amount. The ingredients call for one cup of milk, four large eggs, a half cup of melted butter, the cake mix here, and frosting. For everything, the total cost comes to about $6.50 or about 55 cents per cupcake. If you make the cake, it says there are 10 servings per container. So that should easily make 12 cupcakes. So that's a pretty good deal. The already baked cupcakes that you can buy at Walmart are a lot more expensive than that. And if you buy them somewhere else, even more expensive. So let's get started. I've got my half a cup of butter. Now the instructions call for milk. It doesn't say what type of milk. I always buy fat-free milk. I don't know how that's going to work with this, but I guess we'll, we'll find out. But I'm guessing probably whole milk is probably better, but this is what I've got to work with. So let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to add all the ingredients here. This really does smell like bananas. It smells good. Now I hope I've got a large enough bowl here. Actually, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to have to put this in a larger bowl. As I say, I'm, I don't do a lot of baking. It would probably be better to have a glass mixing bowl, but I think I could probably use this here. Yeah, much better as far as space. So I melted the butter, the uh, half, half a cup of butter. Let's stick this in. Four eggs. Let's stick these in. And a cup of milk. says blend cake mix, milk, eggs, and melted butter in a large bowl on low speed for 30 seconds, then medium speed for two minutes. This is my mom's old blender. I didn't even have my own blender. That's how little baking I do. And let's just see if this even works. That seems pretty high for a low, for a low setting, but let's see what happens. So this is my first time doing this, but it looks like there's enough here for all 12. I guess we'll see. And I think I'm 
only supposed to fill these up about three quarters of the way. Okay, one spoon is only doing about halfway up, so I'm gonna have to probably do a couple spoons for each one. I looked online to see if you could use cake mix to make cupcakes, and the instructions said you just need a shorter time that you could use any cake mix to make cupcakes, and just shorten the time, usually to around 10-15 minutes. They're gonna bake a lot faster than they would if this was a cake. And have any of you tried these Dolly Parton cakes or cupcakes? I love Dolly Parton. So if these are as awesome and as sweet as she is, I'm sure they're gonna be great. Okay, so let's put these in the oven. Okay, let's see here. Okay, put nicely in the oven. So it's been five minutes. Let's just take a peek. Oh boy, looks like I definitely put too much in there. Wow, I hope they're not going to run over. I can't even believe that. Looks like they're going to run over onto the bottom. This is what you could have done instead of filling, trying to put more batter in the stuff. Just bake the one batch and then just bake another batch with the rest of the stuff after the first one. Well, I didn't think about that until it's too late. <laughs> it's like the instructions say on the box, it says 10 servings of cake. So I thought, you know, 12 servings of cupcakes would be about the same, but I guess 10 servings of cake must be a lot bigger than, than this. I mean, wow, these are gigantic though. Well, these I think you're going to enjoy, especially because well, they're going to be, gonna have frosting. Yeah, they're going to be covered in cream <laughs> cheese frosting. <laughs> cream cheese and sugar, that's, I'm in. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, it's, I've never seen a cupcake that big. <laughs> well, I know, they're gigantic. I think they look more like muffins, so. Yeah. All right, well, it's an experiment. <laughs> I'll let you know when they're ready. So I put them in for 15 minutes, and they're looking more like muffins, and they look like I maybe over, over, over baked them, don't you think? Well, I don't think they could go any longer or they're gonna burn. They don't look like any cupcake I've ever seen. But then again, they're not really supposed to be cupcakes, it's supposed to be a cake. So maybe it would be different, you know, as a cake. Jim's making his, what is it that you make? Oh, it is, oh, v Cafe Vienna. Oh, I thought it was some kind of like a, more of a special thing, like a cocoa or something. No, it's just a flavored coffee. Flavored coffee, okay. Is that good? I've been drinking it for years. Yeah? <laughs> I, mean, I right thought you just started time. about a year or so ago. I used to have this, bring this to work, and oh, I, I mean, know. I haven't had it back as far as we were in Lisa. I didn't realize this coffee, because you're not a coffee drinker. Like, I don't like, I can't drink coffee coffee. Yeah. You just need brewed, more coffee acid. that's more like a... Like the brewed coffee with the ass or yeah. whatever's in it. Yeah, it's very acidic. It's like my stomach. So yeah. that's why I said you have to go with like the flavored stuff. Okay. Well, I wish one of these was ready. Well, you want to take one hot without the frosting and taste it? To go with your coffee? Well, you just had breakfast. Just had breakfast. All right, so. I mean, I can have it for dessert at lunch. Yeah. I was just guessing at 15 minutes, the cooking time for the cake itself, let's see, for two eight inch pans, 24 to 28 minutes. So almost half the amount of time, oh, two nine inch pans, 20 to 24 minutes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I hadn't read the instructions. <laughs> it says 24 cupcakes, 16 to 19 minutes. So they were in for about 15 minutes. So I guess maybe even 16 minutes. So I guess that's the right amount of time. And I guess officially make cupcakes out of these instead of cake, instead of a cake. And apparently you're supposed to be able to get 24 if I had to fill it up so much, and the next, the rest of the batter, I'll finish and I'll, man, these are so light. These are like really light and fluffy, very airy. It smells so good. Yeah, totally done inside. Even without frosting, this is really good. And I don't really like baked products. I don't like bread so much. I think that's why I like brownies. They're much richer and thicker and denser. Excellent, okay. So once these cool down, I'll frost them. 
have Jim try one and we'll see what he thinks. But yeah, this tastes great. So the second batch here looks a lot more like cupcakes, even though I still filled them up quite a bit because I didn't have quite enough, since I made the first one so large, I didn't have quite enough to do 24. And I definitely didn't want 24 cupcakes. I mean, this is definitely enough. So next time if I do these again, if I make cupcakes again, I'll do 24 instead of trying to do 12 with the same amount of batter. Really cheap, really fast, really easy, and really tasty. I mean, this is probably the best cupcake I've ever had, and I don't even have the frosting on yet. So as far as I'm concerned, Dolly has another hit. So what'd you think of Dolly Parton's cupcake? Well, I was actually impressed with your baking skills. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't take much skill, really. It was, it was all, you mean that well, it even I just mean, came out. Well, I still ruined it. Yeah, that's true. And I, <laughs> I mean, it was really light. And I think the nice thing about it was it wasn't a real strong banana flavor. Yeah. I mean, there was just, it was very subtle. So I think between the frosting on it, which helped, I mean, I could tell it was banana, but not like almost like the banana bread where it's just really yeah. strong. So yeah, I mean, it wasn't it was, as, it was as nice. Yeah, not good. So you actually finally found something with banana in it that you liked. Yeah, and it's probably because there's no real bananas in it. It's probably just banana, <laughs> banana flavoring. Flavor. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, so good. So thumbs up to Dolly, huh? Thumbs up to Dolly. We still love Dolly <laughs> and her baked goods. <laughs> so the cupcakes turned out to be great. They were very tasty, very cheap, very easy to make, very fast and easy to make. All my favorite things. So how about all of you? Have you tried Dolly Parton's banana cake or coconut cake or made cupcakes out of the, the cake mix like I did? Share with us in the comments section if you have. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.